Item number SCP-1254 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The building SCP-1254 is held in is to be permanently closed to the public. Due to SCP-1254's close proximity to a busy shopping district, a false storefront owned and operated by a Foundation front company has been constructed in order to allay any possible suspicion. SCP-1254 is to be treated as an active archaeological site, with strict environmental controls and safeguards to prevent any possible damage. Personnel within SCP-1254 must exercise caution at all times, and refrain from causing any unnecessary disturbances to SCP-1254. No further containment measures are necessary. Personnel exiting SCP-1254 are to be fully decontaminated before being allowed to leave the building. Cameras are to be installed in order to observe SCP-1254-1 behavior and the progress of SCP-1254-2's construction. Armed guards are to be kept on standby in the event SCP-1254-2 activates. SCP-1254 is the entire stock of books in a bookstore located in California. While SCP-1254 appears to be a set of standard books on the outside, closer examination reveals the interiors of the books have been cored out to construct several miniature civilizations. The inhabitants, dubbed SCP-1254-1, were miniature humanoids that were nearly identical to normal humans in every respect except for size. Their average height was approximately 5 mm. Archaeological analysis of the few remaining intact samples of SCP-1254 suggests that SCP-1254-1 possessed the ability or technology to convert paper into any conceivable material. These intact samples contain stone structures that bore many similarities to ancient Greek and Roman architecture. Study of the damaged samples of SCP-1254 shows the remains of more advanced materials, such as concrete, steel, carbon fiber, trace amounts of uranium, as well as several as-of-yet unidentified materials. There is even evidence of the existence of organic foodstuffs. In addition, the number of distinct civilizations within SCP-1254 corresponded to the number of different genre sections the bookstore contained. The knowledge base each SCP-1254-1 civilization possessed also corresponded to the types of books they inhabited. For example, the science fiction section showed a more rapid pace of technological development, while the fantasy section largely remained in the medieval era. The civilization in the non-fiction section was the one that most closely correlated to the current time period. There's definite proof that these civilizations were aware of and interacted with each other, with border books exhibiting a blend of various architectural styles that neighboring samples of SCP-1254 lacked. However, 99% of SCP-1254 was destroyed or irreparably damaged due to a fire that took place before its discovery. Forensic analysis suggests that the fire started in the young adult section of the bookstore. Trace radiation readings, as well as the remains of various types of weaponry, suggest the fire was started as a result of a miniature thermonuclear war between one or more of the SCP-1254 civilizations, which proceeded to wipe out the entire SCP-1254-1 population. SCP-1254 was first discovered after the previously mentioned fire. The local fire department responding to the call suspected arson and started their own forensic investigation, discovering the remains of SCP-1254. The Foundation was alerted and took control of the site, administering amnestics to the entire forensic team. The bookstore had already been closed indefinitely for several months due to financial trouble, though none of the books were planned to be moved due to the possibility of a buyout. As a result, SCP-1254's existence went unnoticed until the fire. Addendum 1 Living specimens of SCP-1254-1 were discovered on during a routine archaeological survey. 
Researcher Wilkes caught sight of a small group of SCP-1254-1 survivors and managed to record the entire event with his head-mounted camera. Seven individuals wearing full nuclear, biological, chemical gear were witnessed moving through a destroyed copy of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, possibly scavenging for supplies. The small SCP-1254-1 group then saw Researcher Wilkes and fled deeper into the book, breaking visual contact. Containment measures and object classification revised in light of confirmed existence of living SCP-1254-1 specimens. Addendum 2 Maintenance crew responding to a malfunction in the building's air conditioning systems found a miniature aircraft of unknown manufacturer attempting to break through one of the filters. The aircraft was captured and taken to the nearest Foundation lab for research. Attempts to contact the crew were met with limited success, as the only response received were several broadcasted radio transmissions that were a mix of screaming and exclamations of broken Latin phrases. Two hours after the aircraft goes silent, permission is granted to forcibly remove the crew for study. Closer examination of cross-sections of the aircraft show the crew having committed mass suicide. Addendum 3 Security cameras observe suspicious movement in one of the storage rooms. Remote viewing by drones and cameras show groups of SCP-1254-1 gathering as much intact paper as possible and depositing it into the storage room. Further surveillance shows SCP-1254-1 attempting to construct a full-size humanoid with the paper being collected. Based on visual analysis, completion of SCP-1254-2 is at roughly 25%. Containment procedures updated in response.